Hi, Sarah. Herb Washington, a former Oakland A's player, has filed a civil rights lawsuit against McDonald's, claiming that the fast food giant discriminated against him by leading him to buy low-volume restaurants and downsizing his locations, pushing him to sell to white operators. He operates 14 units today, down from 23 in 2017. The suit says he was the largest black franchisee in the U.S. at one point. Consideration and breaks that McDonald's routinely extends to white owners to ensure they're successful. And when I spoke up and objected to this treatment and the treatment of all black franchisees, McDonald's merely told me, shut up, go back to the grill and flip hamburgers. The company said in a statement to CNBC that Washington is faci facing business challenges and that he's been given multiple opportunities to address those issues, adding, quote, this situation is the result of years of mismanagement by Mr. Washington, whose organization has failed to meet many of our standards on people, operations, guest satisfaction and reinvestment. The company also said it's currently reviewing the claim. Back over to you. It does sort of raise the question, Kate, about how many of these franchises from McDonald's and, and other fast food companies around the, the country are black owned. Do we do we have numbers on that? You know, Sarah, that's not a number that I have off the top of my head, but this suit and two other lawsuits filed against McDonald's uh, in the past several months have basically said the number of black operators have been cut in half in recent years. It was over 400 at one point. I believe the suit says it's just under 200 right now. And that they also allege there's a big operating uh, cash flow gap between white operated restaurants and black operated restaurants of about $700,000 annually that they want to see fixed. Mr. Washington says that the company was supposed to address that in 2018. It has yet to do it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.